Hello and welcome to the class Buy, Sell and Flip Websites Online. And I like to teach a wide variety of different students and I have thousands of students enrolled in all my classes. One thing I like to teach is how to make money online because this is something I do myself. I teach others what I do because this is what I do myself. I no longer work nine to five. I work for me, I am my own boss and I want you to become your own boss as well. So in this course, you're gonna be learning how to take a website, buy it, sell it, flip it for more money. Yes, it is as basic as that. Now, did you know that you can make thousands of dollars doing exactly that over and over and over again? Well, you're in luck because in this class, I'll be teaching you step by step of the way how to make money profiting, researching, finding the perfect website and buying it and flipping it for thousands of dollars or more in cash. I'll show you how it is done, where you can do it, the actual proof of sales and how you can even find the perfect website and sell it for more cash. If you're interested in learning this and much more, please enroll today in my class and I want to see you on the inside. So here it is, just one proof of sales. I wanted to show you because it can be actually done. GoDaddy will actually pay you money for the amount you want to sell this website for. So this is something that you could do yourself as well. And I like to show people how much I make and specifically what kind of money you can make yourself and this is not to show off, this is more to motivate you, to make you interested in doing the same exact thing or at least trying. Because you never know which kind of online business you're going to be making the biggest amount of money on. And if you're not trying something new, you will never know which business you're good at. So one thing I want to talk about is actually how much money are you going to be making if you make a sale on GoDaddy. Well, if it is between zero to $5,000, GoDaddy actually takes a commission of 20%, the rest is all yours. But if it is 5,000 to 25,000, they actually make even more money from that, which is $1,000 upfront and 15% of any amount over 5,000 bucks. Anything over 25,000, GoDaddy takes a $4,000 cut and 10% over anything over 25,000 bucks. One thing that GoDaddy has, which is really cool, is you can calculate how much money you're going to actually get if you do sell a website for a certain amount. Let's say, for example, you hit the jackpot and won $7,000. Well, your net proceed, well, your net proceeds from that is going to be $5,700, which is not too bad because although they do take a chunky amount of commission, you do get a lot of money. $5,700, that is a huge payment that you can potentially get. And this is just hypothetical, just thinking about just an amount that you can potentially get. But let's say, for example, just 700 bucks, you'll only be making 560. It is still a very sizable and a good amount of money, even with the commission pay that GoDaddy actually takes. So before you get started and creating your own domain name, you probably want to know exactly which is a good domain name for you to pick. But there's issues with some of them. Before you go into GoDaddy or some other location to go and buy one, you want to make sure that domain name is not actually taken. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's say, for example, I want to sell Bigfoot. Bigfoot and actually buy the domain name for this brand. So looking in here by just typing this in, this one is taken, taken, and this one is actually available, but that's not a desirable one. But some of them are actually resolved, as you can see over here, this one is available, and this one is top level domain, which I can't have. So I have to add, let's say for example, I wanna do Sako, and it's gonna be Bigfoot Sako, would be the name of this, or Bigfoot Toys. Let's say that is going to be the name of what I'm going to be doing. You can see a lot of it is actually available. So what you do is you get a notebook and you write down the names that you think you're going to be using. But some of them are not going to be available at all. So let's say Bigfoot would be it. You see right here it says parked. And what is the meaning of that? Well, pretty much somebody bought that domain and it's actually making money when it is parked. It's not moving, but people who are going to that website, 
the owner actually getting paid, but he doesn't have any content yet available, which is really a cool way for you to generate a lot of passive income by just buying a domain and parking it in a certain location right on the web. So Domino is one website that you can definitely use to get and do your research when you're just getting started. Now, when it comes for you to buying and selling domains, GoDaddy is not the only location for you to do this. There is something called sudo. In sudo, what you can do is buy the domains and you can sell them as well. So you can go over here, press on buy domain, search the domain and find out more about this. So let's go ahead and do that. Find the perfect domain today that you want to actually buy. Now, why would you search for it? Well, pretty much I'm searching for it for specifically to getting an idea what kind of websites are going for and how much money people are actually offering for them. So those are already taken websites, but those websites you can go ahead and buy dog.com. This one has 19 bids for that one. And culture.com, wow, a whooping $2 million for this specific one. So some of those names do get a lot of money for you. And if you figured out a name and specifically the more simple the name actually is, the more money it is actually worth. So you can see here a few of them like cookies.com. And if I'm interested, I can press make an offer. And over here, I can just type it in. So this shows you how simple and easy for you to actually do this. But this one already has 127 bits for this. Dancing.com, this one is going for a whooping $600,000. So this gives you an idea of some different websites that you can actually use. And sometimes you get the wolf right on those websites as well. So once you figure this out, you can go ahead and sell your domain over here. And the different marketplaces, the big difference between them is that there is different kind of demand for those kind of services. Meaning that GoDaddy has certain people who are bidding for it. This one has different kind of audience for it as well. And by looking for different ones, you can generate a huge amount of money by picking the correct place for you to buy and sell the domain name. Talking about parking cash and making money with that. Remember I told you about this? There were some websites that are parked. Well, you can actually get paid using the same method on GoDaddy. So what you have to do is pretty much pick the service that you want to use. The basic one starts as at $4 a month and it's five bucks when you renew and you earn 60% of the revenue on your park domain. Premium one starts at 10 bucks a month, but you own 80% of the advertising revenue on the park domain. So why would you actually want to do this? Well, first of all, it gives you the for free, the GoDaddy auctions membership, which is a five buck value. And yes, you can actually get paid by just parking a very interesting looking name for the website. And while you just keep it there, people are going to pay you money and they're going to advertise for you. They're going to be posting the advertising right on your website. So if somebody goes in there, they're going to be seeing something already for it. So here is a few examples of park domains. And this one is it, cathouse.net. Let's press on this and take a look what it actually means by having a park domain. So take this one, go to the actual website, and that's a park domain right there. So what pretty much happens, somebody else puts an advertisement for this website and every single time that somebody goes in here the person who is making this advertisement right there is actually paying for this spot and paying you money every single month and depending on how much traffic you're getting you might actually be getting a huge amount of money for that website's name so as you're waiting you can get paid doing exactly that parking your domain so now that you bought your domain the next step for you is to create your website using wix.com. The reason why you want to use wix.com, first of all, it is simple and easy for you to use. The second thing about this is that this website is going to enable you the ability to not only create an amazing looking website from scratch, you can also go ahead and do something amazing with it. It will increase substantially the value of anything that you're going to be selling. 
because not only you have an actual business that you're going to be creating, you're also bringing traffic to it as well. So the more traffic comes to the actual website, the more value the website itself is going to have to it, specifically that domain name that you actually take and add this combined with the actual website. And everything about this, how to create your own Wix website is going to be covered in the next part of this class. So you can go step by step of the way and create a really nice looking Wix.com website. Once you're done creating the Wix website and you have something that is professional and really great looking, you have another step for you to do. Now, before you go through this step, one thing I do suggest for you, when you see something like this, like a limited time premium offer to upgrade to the premium plan, you should definitely do so. This is 50% off and the VIP is only going for $20 a month, but the limited one is the one I will recommend for you to get. This one is only $8.50 a month. And what it does, it lets you add your own custom domain, free domain for one year, and it removes the week's ads. So if you go to the actual website, you can see in mine, because it doesn't have any more premium to it, when you get to it, you will see this website was created by Wix.com at the top of the screen. And once you go ahead and pay this amount, you will get premium access to the site and it will definitely remove this website was created by Wix.com. Also, it's gonna remove the file, you see my name right here, it actually forwards my actual website name directly. But the issue of that, it cannot go directly to a specific page. So for example, I wanted somebody to go to something like the VIP page or book something with me or even deals.com. It's not going to let me do this in the normal version of this. And therefore, I need to upgrade to the premium version to be able to do that. So this is something for you to also keep in mind. And once you go ahead and build your own business and create it, the next step for you, the most important one, is to go to flipper.com. On flipper.com, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be taking your website and selling it right here for big money. Take a look at some of those websites and how much money people are posting for sale and trying to sell it. There is some substantial amount of cash going through this website and you can see how much money some people are actually going for and take a look at some of those trending ones over here mobile reset 99 this is going for five thousand dollars get stuff shop twelve thousand dollars and some of them are doing pretty well those are the ones that are ending soon some of them don't have any bids to them so they're not getting anywhere but the green ones do show you the ones that are getting the bids and how much money those people are actually selling those kind of businesses for them. So kidsstuffshop.com is going for a whooping $13,000 and there is 118 bids on it. And it shows how much is the net profit for it. This is a dropshipping website that is very successful and they're selling it right now. On the other hand, some sites here are not doing as well, but some of them are doing pretty good at what they're doing. So keep this in mind. There is a wide variety of different sites and a wide variety of different bids for them. And you can do this as well. Once you build your own website, you're going to be listing it right on flipper.com and you're flipping it for much more money. So right now I have four different websites that are up for sale. And definitely, if you even want to, you can go ahead and buy my own website for $1,200. And actually, all the traffic that goes into my website, you will be the owner of it. And that is why people like to buy those websites. The reason why they want to own the traffic for it and the unique name. So I was able to sell a few of those websites myself doing the same exact basic things I'm going to be teaching you in this class. Now, GoDaddy estimates the value of your website by actually looking at millions of different historical domain name sales. And if you don't agree with these estimates, and a lot of times you might not, you can go ahead and change the actual listing. So right now, those are estimated listings. I post them up for those and at that specific amount because GoDaddy told me, recommended me to post it up for this exact amount. 
Now over here you can see a few different website names and specifically I want to talk about when you choose a website name what you have to look for and if you want to resell that website you want to make sure a few things you're following a few rules that are so important for you to get those sales that eventually is going to happen. Before you go and actually buy any website, you want to make sure that the website has some product that you are actually selling. So you're not just buying it just because you're buying it because you're actually pointing traffic into the website and the website is featuring something. Let's go ahead and check it out. So this website over here, it goes into the control panel. But if you want to see what it is all about, let's go ahead and go for it. You go directly to one of my Etsy shops and you can buy any of the products that are listed over here. This is why I created this website. It pretty much brings me exactly to the actual website and I get sales. Now we have a few other websites featured as well, such as Geek Academy. And there we go. It goes straight into the website itself. I'm using Wix.com to build this site, but I'm not paying member anymore. I decided to quit paying for it because I'm still getting all the features and yet I don't have to pay every single month. So all I need is the actual domain name in order for me to make this work. And it is a very good feature for me. So this is one of my websites as well here. And now I have another website. It is Photo by Silke. This is my website where I do all my photography and showing that around. So let's go ahead and go to this one to get it checked. And this is something I highly recommend for you to do. You want to go ahead and check out if everything is working and everything is fine, because once in a while, something might actually expire and no longer is actually working the way it actually should. And that is essential for you. With geekacademy.com, the membership actually expired. And for a while, my website was actually off service because I use a forward ding for the actual website. What happened is because I was a paying member, once I stopped paying for it, they took it off offline and I didn't even know it was actually off. So this class really helped me out, figure out that one of my important websites was actually offline. And you don't have to go ahead and pay extra money for all those features. You can go ahead and do this on the cheap, just the way I actually did with Wix.com. Now the photography website itself is functioning it is working all the other sites and the links are working the way they actually should the most important thing when you are creating and making your own website and figure out which kind of website you want to create you want to make sure that it has a wired appeal to the most and biggest amount of people out there so for example brickgills.com everybody could figure out this name and potentially want to get this on the other hand geek academy it is very niche subject and only people who are really geeks might actually be interested in this website and its name. Photos by Soge is even more niche. It really has to do with photography, which is niche by itself and with my name. That actually means that anyone who is going to be interested in this website has to be interested in it just because their name is my name. So this makes the appeal of somebody buying this website is very, very statistically low and the likelihood of it even selling for $460 is very unlikely. So what should you do? Well, specifically, you want to figure out what kind of niche you want to get into, what kind of business you're creating and exactly what kind of customers you're looking to actually get. Let's say you're creating online classes. So I would actually do something with academia. And if you're a programmer, it has to be with programming too. So program academia or program academy would be the smartest thing to create but when you press on search what's going to happen is it might not actually find what you're looking for because program academy is already taken somebody already bought their rights to this name so it is suggesting for me a bunch of different names i could use the program academy and the dash in it would actually work now it does give me a lot of different picks and choices for me to pick from. And some of them even have the add to them. And you might be looking and thinking, well, here it is, the program academy, that org is the one I'm looking for. But there is something for you to totally understand that those websites don't have a very good value. 
org, net, shop, club, info, all of those are inferior websites. People just want the websites that says .com. Those are the ones that have the biggest and the highest demand to them. And the ones that are gonna most likely give you the premium amount of cash for exactly what you're looking for. So take a look at this, coastacademy.org. This one is a whooping $3,000. So now you're ready to go ahead and pick some good domain names. And this is the way you're going to be making the big money over here. You want to make sure that the website you're picking is good. It is going to actually get you the big cash, specifically on GoDaddy. And it is my favorite website for me to use. So the extension automatically suggests you go straight to .com. You don't want to bother with anything else because it's not going to give you the VIP prices. And you can see over here, this is interesting that one of the websites, courseacademy.org, is actually going for a premium $2,300. But if you want the biggest premium, they actually come from .com. And to prove to you, Let's go ahead and do academy.com and place on search. Well, that one is definitely taken. There is no way that academy.com is not going to be taken over here. And it gives me suggestions. You can see over here that academy.online is going for $6,000. This one, .com, interestingly, is going for $2,000. And you can see the prices. And this one has the blog to it that goes for a whooping $14,000, which actually tells you that other websites and other names that go after the dot could potentially give you good money. It doesn't just have to be the dot com, but everybody who is having a website, although they suggest to me all those other places and put premium prices for them, I do not agree with this at all. And here is why. Google.com, Apple.com, CNN.com, FoxNews.com. Do you see what where I'm going at? Almost every good website has .com right after it. You don't see anything else. Everything has the .com after it. The other websites are good, but they're not the best because the .com got the premium name behind it. And that is essential. So why go ahead and bottle get anything else but .com when you know for sure that .com is the premium way for you to get paid when you're buying and selling a website. So now that I proved to you why the .com is so essential, let's go ahead and do the search. Let's find something unique and interesting that we can sell for a lot more money. Let's say you want to get started with a dog business. So put in dog, dogs.com. It sounds so simple, but one thing is the more simple the name actually is, the more likelihood that this name is going to be taken and you won't be able to get it. The more simple the name actually is dog, let's say dog treats. You want to start a dog treat business or dog house. Yeah, that that's actually sounds a lot smarter. You want to buy dog houses and sell them for more money. Definitely something like this is also going to be taken as well, but it gives me suggestions for me to actually pick. So dog house away, dog house now, dog house wife. That, that actually sounds pretty decent right there. And they give me ways for me to suggest. And of course, after it suggests for me a few different names, dog house style. This one is a premium website, but it gives me an idea that if I use the keyword style, it actually has a premium mark to the actual name. But I'm not able to go ahead and use this name because this specific name is already taken. So what do I do? Dog style, I'm adding more keywords to it. Dog styles or dog style biz and press on search again. So you want to go ahead and find something that somebody will actually figure out and type it in. Direction is coming. Don't note Trump. And guess what Trump did for the election? He bought every single one of those domains that have his name to it. 
he bought them all off every single variation so nobody can go ahead and post it over there but here is the kicker here let's say for example he loses in 2020 guess what he can come back in four years and run once again for president that actually means that donald trump 24 could be still open but guess what well he already thought this over and donald j trump that come 24 is also taken let's say for example he waits four more years and he goes for 28 and that is available wow so potentially if the guy is just not running in the next four years not running for the next eight years but decides to actually run in 2028 oh man it is taking that specific one is taking but don't know j trump this one is actually open and if you get lucky one of those combos for example donald j trump right there or donald j jr decides to run for president in 2028 and this one is open as well so something like this you might actually buy right now and trump might actually decides to buy it from you and you're gonna get paid actually now if you're doing the 24 one and let's say you don't know trump don't just say and think that that com is the only one you want to get in this specific case almost anything that has to do donald j trump almost any of those websites could potentially be something that he might be actually looking for and buy it from you so donald trump 2024 that biz well guess what if he wants it he might decide to buy it and he might be able to pay you premium price so this gives you some idea of what kind of websites you might want to get but let's give you another example here I'm thinking about something that's going to generate me this million dollar product and sometimes those ideas just come into your head and you got this amazing idea that it's going to make you this a million dollars in fact million dollar idea that's it that is the name of the website i want to get let's go ahead and do search and unfortunately this one is taken somebody else thought about it just as well he wants to create a million dollars well maybe the best idea is million dollars.com and that one is taken as well so you gotta add extra digits to it other things to it that's gonna make it something that somebody will buy it but if you add a dollar sign to this guess what although someone else did take this thing this is not the way for you to go million dollar man who in the world would take something like this no one did so i have the rights to this name right there and i can just buy it or even better make it even shorter million dollar man and somebody bought it so millions door man and this one is available but this doesn't make sense million dollars man on the other hand sounds much more better and yes yes i hit the home run this is available for me to buy and th this is very essential once you create a name and you find something super unique and different you want to buy it you want to own the rights to this name before someone else actually go ahead and buys this name from you that means that if somebody is doing the same exact search figures out the same exact name and buys it this one is going to be gone and if somebody let's say for example comes up with this amazing name they want to start a business and you already have the name to it he will actually want to pay you the money to buy this name from you so that is the important thing and then you start your business with this name so the website gets a lot more traction as more people are going to go ahead and visit it and its value is going to go up higher and higher and then you can go ahead and sell it for more money of course after you find the perfect name next thing you want to do is to add this to the cart so now we are adding it to the cart and the next thing you want to go and do is to continue to the cart itself and i have an option for me to take this for five years for 83 dollars and it is expensive for five years i don't need something this much for this long 
but I have this awesome web browser extension. This one finds me the code. It's called Wikibuy, and Wikibuy saves me money. Let's go ahead and press on try again. So instead of hunting all over on the internet trying to find the best possible price that I can get and the best possible deal, this does it for me. It goes through every single code, it puts them in, and I can see right now how much money I'm going to be saving. So it activated and woohoo, I got it for $50. That is a very good price for five year membership. Now, I don't actually suggest for you to go for five years unless you actually think that this business is going to go for this long. And you can always renew it as well, but there is only one issue. Once you renew it, the prices are going to be much higher. You're not going to get the discount price anymore. So unless you are thinking the long term, yeah, I'm going to go for this for the next 10 years. Well, 99 bucks is actually cheap if you think this business is going to go for this long. And if you want to keep this name for that long amount. On the other hand, I have a better idea for you. Most likely, I would get this for maybe a year. It's not going to cost you this much. It's only going to cost you only 10 bucks for this name. And let's say, for example, you don't want to go like this name. Well, guess what? You can go ahead and get another name instead. For 100 bucks, you can get a bunch of different domains and you can go ahead and put a wide variety of different ones, especially if your main goal is to flip those names instead of just going ahead and concentrating on building a business with this name itself. So you have to think the long run, what you actually want to do before you go ahead and commit yourself to such a long time period. So one year, I think it's kind of short. I think two years would be the really good amount that you would do, especially if you find this amazing name and you actually really like it. So if you want to save tons and tons of money online, there is something called Wikibuy and it is available from Capital One. What it does for you pretty much is any website you go visit and you buy something from, it's going to find the discount codes and it's going to put them right for you. So you don't have to go hunt all over the internet trying to find the best possible price for the products that you are buying anyways. So for you to turn this on, all you have to do is to go to wikibuy.com and then you're going to go ahead and turn on this extension and it's going to go ahead and give you the best possible price for any kind of product that you are going to be buying online and look at all the different stores that go ahead and use Wikibuy itself, different categories, different products, and you can see the different codes and different amount of savings that you can get by going ahead and using wikibuy.com, which is available from Capital One. So Wikibuy itself on some websites, FedEx gives you 8%, Verizon 10%, there are 2%, and Walmart, 2% of purchases. There was a lot of great amount of money that you can be getting, especially if you're doing drop shipping or buying specific products from all those different sites. So overall, you're going to be saving a huge amount of cash and making money by buying products that you actually are using by using wikibuy.com.